Hi guys, Steph here. Right, as it said on the title, there's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> yes, basically from my last pen haul, I had quite a few pens that were reserved, purchased, etc. I've still got lots more that have been reserved that I need to work on. But um, I just thought I'd show you three that I've now finished been working on them over the Christmas period in between the festivities and hopefully I can get them out in the post tomorrow before the new year for the customer. Now the first one is this pen here as you can see comes in its own box. As always they're all a little bit tired but after a little bit of TLC here's the pen in question. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, what we've got for you here. Um, although it looks black, this is actually a green swan cell filler. The model number on this one is the 3240. You can see lovely clear imprint there. Uh, the model number to the bottom somewhere says he. There we go, there it is. So it's a 3240, dated around about the 1940s. The size of this pen capped, 130 millimetres capped. Around the barrel, it's around about 11.5 millimetres in diameter. Um, as all these three pens that the gentleman ordered, they've all been fully restored and all ready to go. Okay, so there's the pen. You can see this model has got what we term as the brass threads there. It's got a black section. And if we take you up to the nib, it's got a lovely swan number two, 14 carat, maybe Todd and Company, made in England nib. You can see it's got swan on the feed there. But all in all, a gorgeous handsome pen you've noticed it's a lever fill fountain pen but this is just one of the pens that the gentleman ordered and i've been working on it as i say over the christmas period and then there was this particular pen here a nice little waterman in the wrong box obviously just needs also a little bit of TLC. And here it is, after that TLC, what we've got is a lovely... Now this one's obviously a lighter green, more... You can obviously see it on the video. And what we've got is a Waterman, made in England, W3. Comes with this spoon lever, as you can see quite a large cap band and it's got the very recognizable sort of art decoy clip to the very top of the cap there the size of this pen is 129 millimeters capped around the barrel it's 11 millimeters in diameter and once again it's been well as i said all three pens fully restored brand new sacks in the pen Everything's been thoroughly cleaned, etc, etc. This one also has a black section, as you can see there. And it's got a nice Waterman 14 carat and the correct W3 nib. There's a sideways view. It's got the very recognisable feed of that particular period. And when we say period, this one I'm dating sort of, I'm, I'm going to date it the early 1950s. But once again, a lovely, handsome fountain pen. So that's two of the pens that he reserved. And last but not least, you remember this pen here. There you go. As you can see, once again, a little bit tired. And after some little work, some TLC, here's the pen in question. And what we've got 
if I turn it round, there you go. We've got a Parker Dufold, registered trademark, made in England. And this one, if I undo the blind cap, you'll see it's got the brass button filler. Okay. Now, a lot of you people would have seen these pens with the aluminium. Um, this brass one here, they're a little bit less common than the aluminium one. Okay, now the size of this particular pen, 131 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice 12 millimeters in diameter. You can see it comes with the quite a thick sort of chevron, chevron um, band there, cap band. It's got the very recognizable Parker clip with the black stud to the very top. And this one also has been fully restored. Everything's been cleaned. The majority of the scratches have been removed. Now, obviously, when we remove the scratches, we remove as much as we can. They all, you know, when you actually, you know, if you look, there will be some, you know, sort of faint scratches here and there due to the age of the pen. Section comes in black little lip towards the nib and in this particular case we've got a parker 14 carat 585 england number 35 nib there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath as all three pens have been fully disassembled it's lovely lovely and clean so there we have it for you people that ask me, Steph, how do I buy your pens? Just like this particular gentleman. Look at the video and in a lot of cases, like all the rest of the people, they look at them and ask, can I reserve that one? Can I reserve that one? Can I reserve that one? This particular gentleman has decided upon all these three pens now before we go um what we'll do let's i'm not going to fill the pens because i'm going to leave that to the to the new owner but what we'll do we'll do a dip test and just let's just see how the the nibs actually vary so what we've got here is a a swan self Cell filler, okay, and this model is the 3240. And there you go. If we put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke, let's just dip it again. Okay, so there you go. So with a little bit of pressure on the downstroke we can get a little bit of variation in the line so it's got some flex to the nib okay so that's the swan let's take a look at the waterman okay let's dip it again and what we have is a a a waterman as we said, this one is the W3 made in made in England. Doesn't feel to be any flex. If there is, it's just well, if it is, it's very slight, but a lovely writer. Yes. Well, as they should be. So that's the the Waterman. And last but not least, we've got the button filler, the Parker Dufold. Let's see how this one... I don't expect this to have any, any flex on it. So this is a Parker Dufold. Also made... Made in England. 
and I can actually feel it as expected. It's quite, quite a stiff nib. Writing with a fine, fine line. So there we have it. Okay, so we've got three gorgeous pens, all writing very nicely, writing with different nibs. We've got one with a little bit of flex, mm, a nice smooth waterman, and a fine writing Parker do fold. So there we have it. Okay, so for you people that say, Steph, how can I buy your pens? Well, you look at the pen hall, reserve a pen. When I've got time, I'll reserve it for you. I've got, I've got quite a few more pens that have been reserved that I'm working on through between Christmas and the New Year and obviously into the New Year as well. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Um, James, I hope you like the pens. I hope you like what you see. And they'll be on the way to you quite soon. But for now, I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from me and these lovely pens. Bye bye for now.